I gotta warn you about this video. This is this is all the, darn near two hours of me fixing a mirror, and uh, you know nothing exciting happens. Just you hanging out with me while I babble and fix my mirror. That's it. All right. So I said uh, I had a story. Although I don't know if you've heard that because I don't know if I am gonna go back to that and use that. I don't know. Can't tell. I haven't looked at it. It's been a day. I don't complain a lot. You guys know that. But we took some lumps today and uh, we all got a bag of rocks. Yours might look a little bit different than mine, but we all got it, right? So no sense complaining. But you know what makes me feel good? Talking to you guys. So I figured um, not an epic video today, but if you remember, I smashed this mirror up on Slick Rock Trail. Mirror. <laughs> and the general thing about my rig is mechanically it's great. It works really well, knock on wood. It works really well, but I beat it up. I take it on the trail. And uh, what that means is it takes its lumps. And right now, um, since I smashed this, my window don't roll up. Let me show you. as far as it goes. Now, as most of you know, when the winter comes, the rain comes. And that ain't gonna do. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna talk to you guys. Might be a verbose video, because I just feel like talking. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix that. That's all we're doing today. That's it, so let's get started, all right? First thing I need to do, I'm not worried about the body damage here. What's clear to me is that this channel is bent. Let me show that to you, hold on. All right. So here, when the smash came here, it bent this and it bent this metal channel. So I'm gonna have to pull this whole mirror assembly off, see if I can salvage the mirror assembly, then maybe pull my door apart and see if I can bend that out. That's what we're facing today. Now, I do, um, I am planning to spend some tender love and care time with the with the TLC Toyota Land Cruiser um, because it's been a long time. So we're talking about maybe even painting it, redoing the interior. Um, if anybody knows Land Cruiser, who's the guy that does the awesome Land Cruiser interiors? I might wanna, I might wanna send him some business. Um, Buy, uh, buy an interior for, from him and doing a bunch of stuff. But this is the basics, right? I just, I need to be able to roll up, roll up my window. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh. ARB sent me some springs. I have no idea. Check this out. ARB. Thank you. I didn't order these. I have no idea why they showed up on my doorstep. If anybody knows, ARB if you're listening, how come I got springs? Thank you. No idea why that happened. Let's get to work. All right, you guys. So now I told you, I told you this might be a verbose video. So if you're trying to get some sleep or something and you're having a hard time, you're having a hard time getting to sleep, this might be the video to watch. Because I'm just going to do this job and talk. And that'll put anybody to sleep. So I hope that I can assist in your uh, sleep deprivation state. A lot of people are having a hard time sleeping in this COVID nonsense. All right. 
Come on now. Don't break. Oh, hey, I can roll that down. Why don't I do myself a favor? I wish there was a uh, way to turn off the electric seat. Every time I lean on it, it goes. I wish while you're doing maintenance, you could turn off the electric seat. I guess I could pull the fuse out, but I wanna do that. All right. Pop this little buddy out here. Boom, just like that. Great. Got that piece. What fits? You wanna see me do this first time? I'm gonna nail it first time, look. Boom. No, I'm not. All right. It's a 10, fine, it's not an 11, it's a 10. No, it's not. Fine, I know. Nine. Boom, there it is. All right. Let's go ahead and take this off. You know what people sometimes get focused on? I have no idea why. They get focused on the fact that I, that Corey and I live in this, uh, what, it, what would you call this? Some kind of a prepared neighborhood or like, it's like a track home, right? I wish I lived in the Rockies. I don't. In fact, I grew up in the country. That's more in alignment with my DNA. Here's the thing, we're thinking about moving, but for those of you that don't know, I used to work in a software business, and part of that is why I started Overland Bound. I'm like, you know what, this ain't no way to live. We're not, humans aren't made for this. We gotta, we gotta explore, we gotta adventure. And then I went out to explore an adventure, and what I found was that the community that was out there weren't too friendly. I'm serious, they weren't. They're like, I was asking questions. I grew up freaking four by off road. I could teach a lot of people a lot of things, but I was just out there trying to enhance my skill and you know, what? they weren't too nice. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna start my own community. Anyway, that's a long way of saying, look at that. That came off. Here, let me see if you can see that on camera. I gotta check my camera. Hold on. Yeah, you kind of can see that. All right, so that came off. I'm not gonna go any farther than that. Ooh, but look what I found. That needs some shielding. Check that out. Here, let me grab, let me, hold on. Anyway, I'm not gonna pull that out. This isn't that kind of video. This isn't a high production value bit video. I'm not gonna do B-roll and be all dun dun slow motion on my wiring. No. All right, but I gotta fix that too. I'm glad I found that. All right, now. Let me show you guys my super scientific approach to fixing this door. Apparently, it's World War II and the planes are back. Uh, I'll show you my super scientific way of doing this. Oh, I, let me finish my story first. So, we live here because I used to be in the software industry and uh, this was as far away from San Francisco is we could get with me still being able to commute in. Remember when people used to go into work? That was me. I used to go into work too. And this is as far away we could get and still, you know. Anyway, it's expensive in the Bay Area. I ain't made of money. So Corey and I are now we're like, geez, don't have to commute into work anymore. The girl, our daughter, Muddy Soul. She's online learning. Heck, we could be anywhere. So we're thinking about moving farther out in the country. More to come on that. But wouldn't that be cool? I don't have to worry about like traffic and planes and all that kind of stuff. I just go out, shoot videos. Not to worry about that stuff. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, I'm gonna pull out this uh, this trim here. Oh look, Corey just got back. Corey's here, maybe she'll say hi. I'll explain to her this is a rambling video. Cause when I do a non-rambling video and it's all, you know, higher production value and I'm worried about the camera and stuff like that, I get all worried that people are walking into the camera and I'm in the middle of something. But this kind of video, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm trying to pull out this weather stripping. Let me get the camera up on that. Corey, are you gonna say hi? Hi. Become a Twitch streamer. You just fixing stuff. Hold on, let me fix your exposure. There you are. Oh, 
Oh, you're fixing it. I'm fixing it. No, you need to be a Twitch streamer. That's our next like. You guys think? We're so gonna partner. We're gonna be a Twitch streamer. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole new. Category. Is there a whole new? Is there a bunch of people out there that don't know how to adventure on the Twitch Twitches, and then so, we can. So many. Yeah. So yeah. we can reach a whole new group of people who don't know that they can just load up their rig and be self-sufficient and go out to the great outdoors. Yeah. I mean, they're watching people play video games. Why wouldn't they watch this? What's their ticker? What's the what's the other platform ticker? Oh, Mixer. No, ticker. Tick, talker, ticker. Tick, TikTok, but that's complicated. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we won't, maybe we won't do that. Okay. Anyway. Hi, okay. internet. Fine. I told them this is a rambling video. I'm Great. hoping that they're having trouble sleeping can... and they just need to watch something. Great. We'll edit it down. No, it's going to be 45 minutes. Bye, Internet. All right, here, look. All right. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that did get... That did get smashed, didn't it? All right, well, I can certainly see why my window isn't closing. Let me get on this side, hold on. Let me show you guys that. You might not be able to see from that angle. What is it? Land Cruiser? Dang, what's your name? I'm going to have to go and look on the internets. Find out uh, the name of that interior place. Um... Yeah, so mechanically pretty good. Engine's running like a top. Thank you, Top Shop Auto. You guys are like paid spots. Nope. They're my friends. Cam and Frank are good friends of mine. They do really good work. And so I tell people about it. I say, those guys do really good work. Okay, I think we're getting there. Oh, I know there's one more here. Why? Because I've taken this off before. Because I want you guys to know about stuff. Oh, also, there is an ecosystem. So, ecosystem <clears throat> goes like this. Look, I got one of these. I got one of these. I don't know why. I have very few specialty tools, but I picked that up. The ecosystem goes like this. Um, we try and, ooh, look at all that dirt falling out. We try and provide resources for folks to go to the, into the great outdoors and we provide the community, the connection, the support, and the software to do that. So you guys will hear me talking about Overland Bound 1, the app, and membership, and hey, go be an Overland Bound member because that helps us out. That helps us uh, develop mo more software. And I got to take care of the guys that, uh, that build the software and stuff. They don't, they don't work for free. So yeah, that's part of the ecosystem. I got to tell you guys to become members and stuff like that because, well, that's the way it works. I can't, we can't build software. That's just the way it works. Most people know that. Some people don't. Boom. See that creep? I'm not switching lenses because that this ain't that kind of video. This is a rambly video. <laughs> all right. Anyway, that crease, that's all smashed in right there. So there's the deal. All right. Now I got this exposed. I think I can get this out now. Here's the deal, as long as I don't ham hand this. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. Long as I don't ham hand this. Ham handing is when you're not careful and you just tweak stuff and you just break it. I think uh, I'll be able to get this out. I got this window trim I'm pulling out. Ah, look at, see? Good thing I, look. And didn't just yank that up. Boom, there we go. Hey, I might paint that while it's out. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Why don't I do that? I'll scuff that up and I'll paint it with some semi, semi mat. I don't need to go and buy new parts. All right, well, let me set this aside. All right, I got that exposed. Boy, that track goes all the way down there. Am I gonna quit on this? I might quit on this. Here, let me see. All right, you guys, I'm gonna quit on this. I know I can hammer that back. I can put that. That's going to be in place again. I can do that. I know I can. This is the gold dang it. Right there. That's the gold dang it. I got to I got to punch that out right there. But that's some thick metal, you guys. I'll be. Okay, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do that. Okay, you guys. By my way of thinking and looking at the other side, I got to come up. I can come over here that much if you can see that gap. I got to come over that much. And I need a scientific way. Maybe I'll get out a <clears throat> pair of calipers or a protractor or something, measure that. Maybe I'll heat the metal, make it malleable with some kind of a torch, then tap it into place. I see there's been quite a bit of bending in here. It's quite distorted. Um, so let me see what I got in the toolbox. All right, now you guys, I see the, the I see a crease, and instead of taking the direct route, I'm going to try and flatten out this crease a little bit, hoping that by countering the crease, um, it starts to get the metal back in the right shape where it used to be. Um, don't try this at home. You're not qualified. You don't have the right tools. Uh, this is very scientific work. Uh, you need years of training uh, to do something like this. So what you're about to see, just a disclaimer here. I'll, you know, I can't recommend you try this at home. Years of training. See, I knew it was going to do that. Now nah, I'm just funning, guys, clearly. Uh, I'm not trying to move it all at once. Because I really am trying to reshape the metal. So I'm just seeing if I can get it to move. One thing that... Uh, I've got a pretty heavy, uh, pretty heavy four pound hammer. I don't think I could get the heft I need with a smaller hammer. But I'm not going not gonna get to the, get the big boy either. Okay, now I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna kind of go at it here. Let me see. I might be making a difference here. Here, let me get the camera here. I'll, I'll show you here.
after the fact. After the fact, you guys can tell me if it's moving. You guys can see, I think, from that angle what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring that out. Is it coming out there, guys? I don't know if it is. I'm more comfortable taking this approach, though, because I think if I can bring it out, I think if I just bring it this way, I'm going to weaken the metal and I'm going to distort it further. So I'm trying to actually get the crease to come out. If I get the crease to come out, then I think I can tap the rest in place. Look at that. All right. Well, you guys can't see this. It'd be too hard for me to snake up a camera in there, but this crease is coming out. Right? Now I feel like I can get that. Yeah. All right, now I feel like I can pull that out a little bit. Let me see. Am I going to do this? Right there. Okay. All right, you guys. Director's cut. This world premiere. Michael fixes his mirror. Director's cut. Let me get my scientific instrument out here. Now, the other reason why you guys can't try this at home is just because the tools that are used are way too expensive. Okay, that looks like exactly where it used to be. <laughs> All right, let me try and tap that out. Boy, I'm really trying to hurt thing. I need a bigger chunk than that. I really need this out of here. Oh! You dog, look at that. Now, we about to have ourselves rodeo. That's exactly what I needed. Let me see if the camera can see that. Try, let me hold on. Instead of getting the, I don't know how to use cameras really. Hold on. I gotta read the lens. Okay, that says that there's the autofocus. Okay, so here's the deal. You guys can probably see now. 
Let me see if you can see. Hold on. Watch you see the deal. Okay, there we go. Now you can see the deal. See that gray? There we go. Okay, see this gray? It's not a shiny mark. That's bent metal. I'm going to try and tap that out now. A little at a time. Now the reason I, I'm thinking I'll be able to move this now is because I, I removed the crease. So it should be free to bend. I think it's moving. Sorry if you can't see, I gotta get in here. Ooh, it's moving. All right. I'm gonna try another uh, another angle here. Yeah, this is the angle right here. Moves fine up there, no problem. This is where the crease was. That's where the crease is. That's the part that is like, I don't want to move. It's also the part where if I slip, it's going to hurt. Okay. All right, guys, might be the last. We'll see. All right. Fine. You want me to do something like that? Fine, I'll do it. Oh, no, I can't get that. Nope. All right, I'm going to have to keep pounding where I was pounding. I like have the best angle right here. Might just take a little time, that's all. Okay, it's coming out there. I need to get it a little further in. I want to deform the whole damn. Okay, that's all right. That'll work. That, this will work. That's all good. It's a little tweaked, but not too bad. I'm going to call that good is what I'm going to call it. Let me check it with my scientific instrument. Oh, needs to be calibrated. Yeah, I'm going to call that good. On this side, I got to come over a lot more. Yeah, I got to come up. Dang, I got to come over a lot more. I could get this over more. I'm not going to do that. Maybe with a C clamp. I'm going to try a C clamp. All right. You guys see how janky this is, huh? Oh my goodness. Now, what I'm going to try and do though. <laughs> All right. 
Parnell will be laughing at me, my friend Parnell, who has all the right tools. What I'm going to try and do is wrap a C-clamp around that and bend that out. And I'm hoping that I have enough, you know, leverage to do that. Let's find out. Don't gotta be purdy. Just has to work. Holy cow. I think that's gonna work. there okay I'm gonna try this around the other way see if I can get a better bite goodness yep I'm yarding on her because you guys know where yarding on her comes from so working in the woods we had a yarder up on the landing which used to pull the logs up out of the hole so we had a saying you yard on it and I'm yarding on it because I think I can tap it back, but I'm actually trying to flatten this metal with this crazy setup I got. Now I might bring it too far, I don't know. But I think we're starting to look good. Guys, I think we're starting to look good. Guys and gals, All right, dang. This is where everything pops apart and busts me in the chops. You guys, I'm gonna call that. Hell no, I better not leave better, I, I better not leave well enough alone. Let's see if I can crank it again. Because why would I leave it well enough alone? Rawr. Guys, we're calling it. I'm going to pull my extremely professional equipment apart here. Let me see if I can get here. Hold on. I want to show you how crazy this is. Nice close-up for you. Bye, camera. Now, the reason I said bye, camera, is because I had to get a different lens to show this close-up. See that? It's sandwiched. I got my, my C clamp and it's sandwiching that metal. And then if you guys want to see full glory here. <laughs> oh yeah. Holy cow. Let me see if my autofocus is on. Is my autofocus on? Manual. Ha <laughs> ha. Now you're autofocused. All right. Holy cow. So I'm happy with that. We're going to pull this thing apart. I'm going to put it back together. See if my window rolls up. And if so, I can sleep well tonight because I brought home the meat. That means like you killed an elk or something like that. You did your job for the day. 
Ooh, who freaking typed this thing on here? I'm bleeding. Where's my Overland Bound Med Kit? Remember I told you about that ecosystem? All right. Do, do, do. All right. Let me take, let me take a gander at that with this off. I think, gosh darn, so I came over quite a bit. I did. That was great. However, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do some some tapping a little bit more. Try and get these creases out. Now this window track, I'll be honest. No, I'm serious, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. You know, because that's how I roll. Uh, speaking about rolling, is the camera rolling? Yeah, it is. Okay, great. You guys, before I get this all wrapped up, let's just try it, all right? Let's just try it. Nice and slow now. Ain't nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Only thing is, this guy has to come out a little bit because he got deformed when my window got bent. And it's just this rubber. It's not the actual, it's not the metal here. It's just this rubber track. I don't think it's the metal. Let's take a look. No, it's not the metal. It's just the rubber got eaten by the window when I tried to roll it up. But you know what we're going to do? Here's what we're going to do. I put this all back together because I know the window closes now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix this trim piece, I'm going to hit it with some paint, yep, that's right. I'm going to assemble this whole thing, we'll be good. Oh, I'm just going, going by for a second, I'm collecting my thoughts. Alright you guys, so this is supposed to be black, the, the coating is coming off. So right now I'm going to um, never cut, never cut towards you because you might slip and cut yourself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the, uh, the coating and then I'm just going to hit it with some paint. I'm not trying to do a restoration job here on my window trim. I am just trying to make it a little bit better. That's all. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Now that I am not going to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and take that off. See that? 
That's all I'm doing. Okay. And then what I'll do, remember I mentioned two hours ago at the beginning of this video that uh, I'm going to start putting some tender love and care into the 80. Well, when I do that, I'll get new window trim. I'll get new stuff. There we go. Yeah, like that. Besides, this is this is dented here. Can't have dented stuff. Now, you guys, I'm not going to take you to the workbench with me. I'm going to go to the workbench. I take the rest of this off, okay? All right. So, all I did was strip that, sanded it, and now I'm just spraying it. That's all. Let it dry, and then I'll tack the whole thing together. I like this Rust-Oleum uh, satin. Yeah, that'll do it. That's it. I'm gonna let her uh, let her dry. Then I'll hit it with another coat. I'll let that dry for about five, ten minutes. It'll dry pretty quick out here. Now, one thing I'm glad about is, uh, you know, you guys saw the job I did. It's not uh, restoration. It's just getting the job done so I can close my damn window. Um, but the thing I'm happy about is that it, it doesn't look like I lost my door, right? So when I go to restoring the 80 on the outside I'll uh, I'll still have a door to work with here which is great Hanger, just like that. I can go get some tape. That's how I'm gonna do it. Gonna do tape. <clears throat> Here's the deal. I hear you guys talking. I know. I know. Michael. You shouldn't have electrical tape in your electrical kit. And you're right, you're right. But here's the deal. I'm gonna do this quick like, got some nice Gorilla tape. Gonna do this quick. I know I'm gonna pull this whole darn thing apart here pretty quick. And restore the whole dang 80. So, just right around the corner. You guys might uh, tune in for that, you know? So I'm going to get her done, just like that. We'll repair her right just a little while. Now, this door, simple. It's just got these body grommets. Ooh, should I? 
Oh, look at that. I'm gonna fix that too. Look at that, guys. Look. What am I doing here? There it is. Okay, look. Look at that. Coming out like that. Hold on. So I gotta remember, I gotta remember about this situation here. Can't forget. You gotta make funny mouth shapes. Boom. Just like that. Bad boy's fixed. All right, now. Body parts around the bottom, they just. Get plugged in like that, that's all. That's all there is to it. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Let me get you guys back up here. Okay. go just like that I ain't going crazy I'm not gonna strip it This one, here it is. So I'll probably, well, we'll see. Never mind. I'm going to stop talking. Well, you know, I'm going to stop talking because I started saying something about reusing parts. I got to tell you, it depends. I may or may not reuse parts. Depends on how readily available said parts is. Nope. That ain't the one. This is the one. I knew that. Boy, that looks a mess. Okay. Keep that there. Let's go give her some more paint. That's all I'm putting on there. That's it. <sighs> all right, you guys. This is contact cement. Contact cement is awesome. You put a little on one surface, you put a little on the other surface, you let it dry for about two minutes, and then you stick them together. They ain't going no place. Watch how well this works. Yep. 
Here we go. I'm opening the contacts, man. Yep. Just a little bit. Oh, by the way, when you use a brush, you're never going to use that brush again. So just plan on tossing it away. Okay, here we go. I'm put a little more on there. Oh, here it is. Okay. We'll put some on this side. Now, if this works, I mean, when this works, I'm probably going to put just enough. For that trim, too, because the trim, the old plastic. See, you guys, what happens? Here's the deal that happens. All the trim pieces like this on a 30 year old vehicle, 96, 2006, 2016, 2020. On a 25 year old vehicle is the plastic just gets brittle. So these body trim tabs and stuff like that, when I do the longer term repair, I'll buy new ones so that all clip on there nice. But that's why I'm putting a little bit of contact cement in places is to keep it there. All right, that was about two minutes. Oh yeah, I gotta put this on. Right. Well, this is easy though. This just hammers on, look. So if you guys want any uh, cinematography lessons, you know, how to edit, you, I got it, I got, I'll, I give classes on how you too can edit a video together like this that is really super complicated. There you go. You guys can see that now. Now let's see what we got. Oh, hey, surprise, surprise, the airplanes are back. I like airplanes, don't get me wrong. Trying to get it to stay over there, that's all. You can do that for me? Stay over there? Maybe I should have put more goop on, let's see. Yeah, it's not really staying. All right, let's put some more goop on it then. You know, smash it up there like that. I'm going to take it apart, let it dry. I'll smash it up there again. for me here. Come on now.
Come on now. Hey, now. Okay, it's not quite stand, but you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. Let's roll this window up. It'll hold it there. Okay, you guys, you ready for the big reveal? Oh look, I left my battery on for the last two hours. Okay, garbage truck's here. I hope they get my trash, because my truck's in the way. I hope they don't take my truck away. Second. If I want the garbage man to come, or the airplanes to fly, all I gotta do is bring all right, you guys, all that uh, fiddling with this here, that's sealed in there. Now, here we go. This is our real earnest look while we uh, check out what happened. Boom. All right. I'm going to call that a fix, you guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, that was two hours of me fixing my mirror. But now, we got it set. The basics, it's going to work. I'm going to put that trim tab uh, back on here. And uh, we'll be good to go. We got a little fix there. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Remember the ecosystem I was, uh, I was talking about? Uh, we'd love to have you become a member of Overland Bound, be a part of the crew. You can download our uh, software, see trails areas that people are uh, you know going because they're adding them to the app uh, hopefully we get to see you out there um, on an awesome adventure and I hope by now you're asleep bye bye